Hello everyone and welcome to my channel and today I'll be reading a kinetic listener by me. So let's get into that. You wake up slowly, blinking against the morning light streaming in from the window. Something feels odd. You sit up in bed, rubbing your eyes, only to freeze when your hand brushes against something soft on top of your head. What the... <sighs> There's no way. You mutter, feeling around your head. Soft fairy shapes flick under your fingers, and your heart skips a beat. Cat ears. And suddenly, you're wide awake with that realization. Scrambling out of bed, rushing over to the nearest mirror. The reflection that stares back at you is almost unrecognizable. You... But with a pair of twitching furry cat ears poking out from your hair, and your actual ears are nowhere to be seen. Oh, what is happening? You exclaim, touching the ears again as if that would somehow make them disappear. Is everything alright? His voice calls out, casual as ever, as he strolls into the room. He's wiping his hands on a towel clearly in the middle of some morning routine. Kenich, you call out to him, whirling around to face him and pointing at your head. And he stops in his tracks, his eyes widening when he sees you. For a second, his face is a mix of surprise and confusion. Then slowly, a smile spreads across his lips. Well, this is... You, he says, his voice filled with amusement. You? I have cat ears. I'm not supposed to have those. You can't help but feel a bit frantic, waving your arms in exasperation. Kenneth walks over, his smile growing wider, and you swear there is a twinkle of mischief in his eyes. Don't panic. They look kind of cute, he says, his tone infuriatingly calm, like this was just something you were supposed to be getting used to now. Cute? How am I supposed to deal with this? What if they're permanent? I can't walk around like this. You stare at him, completely incredulous, and he only chuckles, gently brushing his hand over one of the ears. And to your horror, or maybe not horror at all, it flicks involuntarily at a such. Oh, come on. It's not that bad. And look, they move. He grins down at you, clearly enjoying your reaction. But you bat his hand away, flustered, your face heating up. Stop teasing me, Kenich. He does not stop. In fact, he leans in closer, inspecting your new ears with great interest, his smile turning downright playful. Hmm, I wonder if this is temporary, or if we'll have to adjust to your new feline side. He tilts his head, feigning deep thought. Maybe we should get you a collar, too. You'd make a cute little house cat. Kenich, you're being absolutely ridiculous. You swat at him again, but this time he easily dodges, laughing softly. He moves to stand behind you, placing his hands on your shoulders as you both look into the mirror. You're really adorable. You know that? He murmurs, his voice warm against your ear, and you groan, crossing your arms, though you can't help the small, embarrassed smile that pulls at your lips, nor the blush that spreads across your cheeks along with that. This isn't fair at all. I think it's perfectly fair, he replies, pressing a kiss to your temple, Besides, I truly do not mind. 
I like you like this too. You give him a side eye, trying to glare but failing miserably. I can't believe you're okay with this. Shouldn't you be more concerned? This is weird. He shrugs, is Merrick still playing on his lips? Maybe. But we've been through weirder, haven't we? His hands slide down your arms, and you feel him gently squeeze your hand. We'll figure this out. But until then, I think I'll just enjoy how cute you are. You roll your eyes. Your earlier panic, starting to subside as his calmness and teasing, start to infect you with a sense of normalcy. Somehow, when Kinnich is around, even waking up with cat ears seems quite manageable. I'm not cute, you grumble, though you can't keep the smile off your face. Uh-huh, totally believe you. He says, clearly not believing a word of it. He takes you away from the mirror, pulling you into his arms, and resting his chin on top of your head, right between your new ears. We'll deal with this later, he murmurs, his voice suddenly softer. But for now, let's just relax. You let yourself sink into his embrace, the warmth of his arms helping to ground you. Your tail, or rather the tail that you suddenly realize you have, pushes behind you, and you feel him chuckle softly. Stop laughing, please. You mutter, though you don't pull away. I can't help it. You're irresistible like this. He says, his voice filled with affection, and you give him a playful shove, but he only tightens his hold on you, his laugh deep and soothing, and despite everything, the confusion, the shock, and the undeniable weirdness of the situation, you find yourself relaxing in his arms. Maybe having cat ears would not be so bad. At least, not if Kinnich kept looking at you like that. 